Hi everyone. So in this video, we will be learning that how can we create animated videos, animated cartoons, animated games, animated anything, whatever you want to create. So as soon as we click on any of the image, then this boy will take that action. I mean, it will do that action. See, as soon as I click here, it will do like that. And as soon as I click on this run button, then it will run. See, isn't it running now? And as soon as I do this, it will then again walk. This and if I click here, so it will run. And when I click walk, then it will walk. See. So this is really going to be so interesting. If I mean, it is going to be so interesting if you are creating or if you are interested in creating your animated cartoons, your animated videos, animated games. And much more can be done. And if you are really interested in game lab, then this is going to be an awesome feature for your upcoming games. So, without wasting any further more time, let's get started. Let me tell you guys that in this video, I am not really going to code this game from scratch for you guys because if I just spoon feed everything, then it's not going to help you. So in this video, I will just explain you the codes that why this particular code is used and like why. But I am not going to code it. If you are still facing any difficulty when I code and when I mean, you are not able to understand the codes, then tell it in the comments. Then a separate video for this particular topic will come where I will be coding this game from scratch. Here scratch means from beginning. Alright, clear? So don't think that in this video it is not being coded. I'm just explaining and I'm informing you before only. So that you don't complain it afterwards. Is that clear? Okay. So first of all, let me explain you in blocks because many of you face problem while doing it in text. So when I run, we can see that here in the game, we can see click over image to change animation. We have three variables here. We can see one, two and three. So that is why we have created three variables here. Variable one, which is boy, this boy. And the default animation of this boy is going to be walk. And what is walk? Here in animation tab, we have all these images which you need to have in your game and we and we download it from you in the description. So these all you need to have. These all are the frames. So to make the boy walk. So this is going to be the default animation for our boy. Because um, we know that simply boy is walking. And this is walk image. Like whenever the boy. That walk button is clicked. Whenever this button is clicked. Then the boy should walk. And whenever this button is click, which is run, then the boy should run like here. Just remember here why we are having two for each. Walk, walk image, run image, run. Let me tell you here, walk is simply for the animation purpose. And here, walk image is for the image which is being shown here. You can see the image here walk. So for this image, we have put that walk image. Okay. And here for run image, it's for this simple image. This is here. So when we run, we can see here run. This image, can you see? So for that purpose, we have put it separate. I hope no confusions now. And here run also. And here we have added all the frames to make it run. Got it. Got it. So that is why three variables are here. Variable 1 is variable boy. Variable 2 is walk button. This one. And its default animation is walk image. And run button. This one. And default animation is run image. And we have scaled all of them. We, uh, why have we scaled them? To reduce their size. Because the sizes are actually much larger and it won't fit the game it won't fit in the screen so that is why we needed to scale it 
so we have done it so this was all about the function draw all about the draw function now in the draw function the main purpose of the game actually starts that first of all the background should be of this color you can this color which has been given here you can just do it on your own it doesn't matter any color you just add then fill blue why have we put here fill blue for this text that click over image to change animation so for this text we have clicked added here fill blue that the color of the text should be blue and the text size should be 18 got it these all are the basics you have already learned it in our game lab series if you haven't watched that game lab series where all the detailed explanation of each and every block has been given there with a very very detailed explanation then you can check it there and then after you know the basics and when you come here to practice the projects and to create projects then it would be much more easier for you got it Done. So now here it is showing boy dot next frame that the frame should continuously be coming. Okay. And then here boy dot x is equal to boy dot x plus y. So here why have we put this code to make the boy walk that after every that after every five it should just walk. Wall dot frame rate is five. We have just given it just wall dot frame rate is equal to five. If you don't understand why world or frame rate is used, then you can just check it. World or frame rate, this one. Click on see examples and check it out your own. Because if I explain you world or frame rate right now, then the video is going to be extended a lot and then you all will only load like the video. So just read it. You will understand it on your own. It's very easy. It's just number of time per second the screen is refreshed because the screen needs to be refreshed. Now if you know JavaScript then it would be so easier for you because their frame rate is already known to them because frame rate is just like after we all know that the screen is made up of pixels and that is why the screen needs to be refreshed after every after a certain period of time after a certain time interval then the screen needs to be refreshed. That's just of basic stuff. Just um, read the examples and you will get to know. Then draw sprites. All the sprites should be drawn after declaring all these things. Now, here we can see that as soon as the boy has passed this line or passed the screen, then it automatically came here. But it won't come automatically. Some codes must have been given there. Some most some codes must have been declared. So that is why if boy.x exceeds this width, then its x position is going to be 0. Now I hope you are all aware of the x and y position. These are so basic that you one should already know before creating projects in game lab and I hope you have already done. Now if mouse is pressed over walk button, if I click on walk button then boy.set animation should be walk and if the mouse is pressed over run button then the boy should run and the same here vice versa and that was such an easy code so easy codes i mean it was so easy what was there it is so easy literally that is why for this project i didn't code it because i want to check that if you guys are also able to perform or just are able to create projects of this level I just bought this video for you guys to show you all the level of creativity can be used in game lab and but this project is going to be as an assignment for you all so you all have to code this project on your own I have explained you each and every function I have explained you each and every variable everything has been explained to you if you had listened and watched it carefully then now you must be able to now you are in a position to code this project on your own and after coding this project don't forget to share with me and also add your creativity enhance this project with your level of creativity and share it to us and the best projects will get featured in this channel so make sure you are the one that's all